Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about preprint servers. So let's see what is preprints. As the name says, it's preprints, right? That means before publication, before it get published. Uh, so now the question is like, why we have to put it in a preprint server? Why not directly submit it to the journal? There are some cases where we need to put it into the preprint server. Like for example, now you want to discuss your results before it get published and to get a feedback from the experts or the big shots in your research field. And also it gives you an authentication that uh, with the DUI and the timestamp, uh, which act as an evidence for your contribution in later while in the um, publication for the long time of uh, um, uh, revision and or the review uh, that time there may be a chances of uh, some uh, the the work may be get leaked or somebody can uh, publish it without your knowledge or with, with without your concern like in that case it will act as an evidence that you have already uh, uh, put it in the uh, website or available online and another case is like uh, for some time, so we used to send some, some article for some reasons. It's keep on getting rejected. We don't know why or maybe it may not be good. Maybe the it's publication quality wise it's good, but still it's not able to make it uh, for the publication. So that case we can use the preprints to get it published. Of course, not exactly. Then um, uh, advanced citations like uh, before your paper gets published, but you are working on something which is a very hot topic. And if it takes long time to get published, so you can put it in the preprint server so people can read your work and get it cited and your citations will get counted. And one more thing is like uh, some uh, use this for even for getting the jobs like interview all these things while you are go going for an interview your paper is not yet published but if you are available in the preprints you can show to the recruiter like uh, they can get a chance to read your work and you will maybe get recruited also and it can also be used for a grant. So these are all the cases where we can use the preprint uh, server. Now let's see some of the important or commonly used preprint servers. So one is Archive. Uh, so it's a, a open access archive. It contains more than 2 million uh, scholarly articles in diverse fields. It's not only life science. You can see it in physics, mathematics, computer science, and many other fields, even engineering also. So you can uh, see your, whether this can be uh, fit into your right preprint server and you can uh, put your thing. It's so easy, just you have to just register it and you can, you have to just submit your article. And if you see this one, people are keep on submitting. The, uh, the submission for the preprint is uh, increased from the uh, late 90s to 2020, you can see here. The next one is uh, ChemArchive. Uh, so this also has many different categories, um, but it uh, the contents is uh, not much as much as the archive. So it's roughly around fifteen thousand like contents is here. Like, um, but it it's downloaded several times, and if you see the number of times this uh, article is cited, it's more than three thousand times it's cited. You can see. So submitting to the chem archive it's so easy. You if you have an archive ID, like uh, you can uh, directly upload using this your acid ID, uh, and also it supports some of the uh, publishers like ACS and some RSE journals. Also, you can submit. You can directly uh, 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 transfer to the article to the publication also. So that is an advantage of using this one. Another interesting archive is uh, Atheria. So it contains roughly around 25,000 uh, uh, preprints. Again, from the diverse platform, you can see. So here you, you have an option to search. I mean, like on all the cases here also, you can search using the keywords uh, to get your thing. Same like the previous one here also, you can use this RCID ID or even your Google account to log in uh, and submit your preprints. Uh, this also, uh, uh, allows you to directly submit the preprint to the selected journals if you prepare it based on the templates available here if you can the next one is a very famous one maybe you might have come across this one frequently it's called bioarchive um, it also has a wide range of uh, subjects it also has several articles 
very easy to upload like using your asset id or you can create a new account another reason for its familiarity is it's from the zuckerberg you know mark zuckerberg right so from uh, uh, from his uh, initiative like i mean are it supported by this uh, f- uh, funding so that's also another reason why it's so popular the facebook founder uh, zuckerberg foundation also supports this med archive which is both f- comes from the same family of bioarchive but it's more uh, of health science related articles are available here so one cannot submit in both because it's a kind of uh, interlinked another interesting preprint server is uh, os of preprints it's also called uh, open science framework uh, preprints so here also you can have we have more than 2 million uh, uh, preprints available it's very easy to upload using your rc it or create your own account and you can upload it this one is uh, the name itself preprints it's from mdpi publishers you know the mdpi publisher like biomolecules and other journals they are publishing so here also you can use the mdpi profile to log in and to submit or you can use your rc id or you can create your new account easily you can uh, submit from one to uh, from the preprint to the mdpi journal so easily okay so now i shown uh, uh, several preprint server right but this is not the only preprint servers available there are so many preprint servers available depends on the familiarity and uh, the usage i have shown some of the most commonly used and famous one if you know more you can just comment uh, the uh, preprint server so the now the question is we have several preprint servers we cannot access one uh, the article which is uh, submitted into one preprint server cannot be accessed from the other one right so how we can access so either you can use google a uh, normal google search you can use or you can use uh, this uh, one search called the europe pmc open center like this one will have some access to several important preprint servers like bio archive med archive chem archive and athera and some others so this one you can search uh, and then here you can see here it contains 41 million of course it includes the articles and other things but preprints are also here you can access all the preprints from here okay uh, finally i have as i said like i listed only few important and commonly used preprint server there are many available Uh, so while you choose the preprint server to uh, submit your article uh, make sure it is properly indexed like uh, it's all at least available in google scholar europe pmc and other key uh, things so that it will be the visibility will be very high or go with the some famous uh, or most widely used preprint server so people uh, uh, will get notified by twitter or by other social media uh, media platforms will be uh, will be uh, they they will come to know about your research okay and most importantly your citation count will increase for your article in advance right okay that's it for today thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and like it if you like it and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get notified immediately once i upload the video thank you see you in the next video 